everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 5 of Daryl20's Universio Let's Play. Uh, today, I want to start with this quest up here, the ASGD, the Automatic Cosmic Dust, aka Artificial Supernova Generation Device. Apparently, this is a multi-block that will allow me to automate cosmic dust. Maybe? I don't know. But we're going to find out. Uh, and then from there, uh, depending on, you know, how that plays out, I would like to move into getting into Pneumatocraft, which looks like the next phase of this, of this mod pack, right? So the, so the, the, the new universe phase had me mining, um, you know, getting helium, getting some basic elements, getting gravity, getting the cosmic dust and making planet earth, uh, age two, the primal age, uh, had me getting some basic resources and getting into Batania, uh, to, to generate some things that allowed me to get into age three, I guess. And now we're in the industrial age, uh, which is where we're going to get into pneumatocraft, it looks like. So, uh, again, interested to see how this pack plays out because things are so very different from what I'm used to doing that I'm really having a lot of fun, uh, you know, just learning it all. Now, I'm going to need nine cosmic dust blocks, which is a healthy amount of cosmic dust. Uh, that said, between episodes, I did a bunch of mining for hydrogen and helium, uh, so that we would have a good time. So let's get uh, more helium going here, right? Um, I'm thinking we're going to want uh, a lot of it, probably, at the very least. How about we'll start with 16, right? And then you, uh, with gravity, can make a bunch more, right? So you guys can go there, you can go there, and that will get me a pretty healthy amount of stars, which I can then use... like that to get a bunch of cosmic dust, right? And then pop those guys into cosmic dust blocks. We're gonna need just a few more. Uh, now we're also gonna need a few stars, but we don't need that many of those. We need we need nine cosmic dust, but we only need four stars. So I'm gonna obviously need, oh my goodness, my gravity is off. Hello, gravity, please come back. Thank you. Um, we're gonna need a lot more we really need more gluons is what we need because we we are not getting gluons as quickly as I would like. Uh, yeah. Now, at some point, I think we'll get EMC, and I suspect that hydrogen has an EMC of one. Um, yeah, EMC of one, right? So at some point, it'll be very easy to transmute. I'm guessing we need some kind of transmutation table that's going to need graphite blocks and obsidian or compressed iron and obsidian you know once i get obsidian going which hopefully ain't too hard that could be my path we're going to need a decent amount of mana for it but we'll get a transmutation table not too far off once we get into compressed iron and a little bit of obsidian so we actually might be very close to getting a transmutation table that said I'm uh I'm going to I'm going to mine my way into getting more cosmic dust because I just want more cosmic dust. What I might do is have a separate chest for all these quarks and things because we're getting a lot of down and up quarks and electrons far more than we're getting gluons or maybe we're getting a similar amount but we need more gluons one way or another um the ratio of gluon to quarks is not ideal for our needs. So uh, I'm going to mine a bunch of this, make some more hydrogen and helium, get myself up to the nine blocks that we need, and then we'll come back to check out this multi-block structure, which will apparently automate the cosmic dust process, which I'm interested to see. So let's come back in a moment, shall we? All right, be right back. All right, I've got nine cosmic dust blocks, which is cool now. Uh, and then I should be able to make... Hydrogen... One, two, three, four, which we can turn into these little star dudes. Sweet. All right, cool. Uh, and then the final piece is 28 nothingness, uh, which I guess Just get like this. Remember, right click with your void harvester to get nothingness. There you go, 28 of it. Nice. Okay, cool. 
Every time I craft with my gravity, it turns off the gravity for me. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of a nuisance, but that's all right. I'll live. Uh, so inventory very full over here, but that's all right. We'll manage, I guess. Um, I guess I also have a trash can if I want to just void some up quarks. That's fine at this point, right? We have an unlimited amount of them. Uh, so with that done, we get the Universio book, which is cool. So uh, there it is. Did I already have that book? I don't know. I may have. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, so Universio. Help regarding items from the Universe Util mod. Uh, so there are multi-blocks, the ASGD. Artificial Supernova Generation Device, or the ASGD for short, is a multi-block that allows you to automatically generate cosmic dust. Sign me up. Note that the multi-block needs a barrel or any inventory above the gravity block plus a redstone signal in order to work. That should be fine, right? Uh, above the gravity block. So what we're probably going to want then uh, is some kind of chest. Boop, boop, boop. Actually, I could probably just do the barrel or the or a drawer even, right? A drawer would be cool, right? Uh, and then we're gonna want a redstone signal, so that would be a stick, lever. Is that cool? Okay. Uh, so let's go set this thing up somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, how about like? over here so that we're not too far from our planet and i'm assuming i can like place this and then break it if i need to um sweet that's pretty cool oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be hard to delineate and i'll tell you why because it's made of everything this blocks and i'm trying to build them in the yeah that's probably easier said than done uh, so maybe what I want to do, so this is a one, this is a five by five structure. What if we uh, did this, right? What if we stopped visualizing and like right here. One, two, three. I hope I'm doing this correct. It is very hard to keep track of what I'm doing. I'm just putting that out there. Okay. It is, it is, if it's, if you guys think it's hard for you to see what's going on right now, I can assure you that it is harder for me to know what's going on right now. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's harder than it looks. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. All right, so that would be a proton. And then if I wanted to turn you guys into neutrons, that would be cool. And then what I might do is get rid of something. Okay. How about all these extra use? Goodbye, things. All right, so let's see if I'm right about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then if I made this the internal of that structure, that would be cool, right? That looks cool to me. Right? And then neutrons. And then I can take my protons and turn them into hydrogen y stuff. Okay. And I might just wind up, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to void this excess stuff. All of it. I don't need any of that, right? I honestly don't see why I would. I can always get more. 
I might as well trash it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'll, I'll keep the extra hydrogen that I made, right? All right, so now, because we've got this outer border thing, I'm thinking this might be easier to visualize where things sit. So if I visualize it now and we put it like here, does that look cool? You turn off. Okay. So then what we'd want is we want the nine dusts like so with one in the middle. Okay. Uh, the gravity block goes on top and then it's pretty much just all the everything this blocks. with a star on top here. Is that cool? And then you're good. Is this multi-block formed? I guess we'll find out. So if I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to face you in this direction, and I'm going to give you a redstone signal. Oh, it's spinning. Whoa, things are happening. Oh, hello. I like that. Well, that's cool. We've got cosmic dust. Okay. Neato. That is cool. That is super cool. All right, cosmic dust for days now, uh, which is good news because, you know, that's good stuff, right? That's cool. Way easier than making the stars and blowing them up thing, right? And I can even put the nine cosmic dust that I have in here, no? Oh boy, I didn't want to do that. Come back, you. Um, yeah, why can't I store my cosmic dust in here? Does this cosmic dust not stack with that cosmic dust? Apparently it doesn't. All right, so next question. What if I did, ooh, hello. Apparently they're different somehow, but I can do that. Now, if I do that, does that go in there? No. Super interesting. Super interesting. What is going on on my screen right now, and why are you pretending like I have a UI open? What did I do? Did I do something? Do I press a button? Uh, oh, okay. I. The I key apparently does that. They I learned. Sweet, so uh, that that is Universio's multi-block. I don't know if there's more stuff in there. It may or may not unlock as we progress through the mod. Or that might be the only thing. Beats me, we'll find out. Uh, so now that we've got that done, we've got unlimited cosmic dust, which is cool, uh, which I'll store in here for now, along with all my other junky junk. Uh, I don't think I need uh, our hoe at the moment, and everything else is looking pretty good. So let's clear out my to-do list here. And now my quests are uh, to make litmus paper, used to show what's inside a crucible. Okay, and that is that. Okay, so we, we need to get into this crucible bod, right? Um, not really, hell. Universe, you tell purgatory. To visit purgatory, dig down in the overworld, aka Earth, until you reach y equals negative 62, and when you move below that y, you will teleport. Oh, that's cool. That's new. Okay. But let's focus on making compressed stone if we can. Uh, so we need to get our crucible, which as I recall, is the scroll of transmutation on... Now, do we wanna do this here in this dimension or no? I don't have a good answer to that. I really don't. 
Now look at that, we have a lot of cosmic dust. That is cool. That's a lot of cosmic dust, folks. Um, do we want to do that here or in the overworld? So like here, no mobs. Overworld, yes mobs. Here, no day-night cycle. Overworld, yes day-night cycle. Here, really hard to see where you're building due to the texture of the ground. Uh, that's my biggest challenge in building out here, is it's really hard to see where you're building. Um, now, maybe at some point, oh, there's no gadgets. Who who came up with this pack? I do like Temporal Sands, though. How hard is that to make? Oh, not bad. Once I get gold and some leather, I should be able to pull that off. Okay. Uh, but there's no there's no gadgets. Um, so no exchangers, no building, nothing like that. Um, item, effortless building, gold randomizer bag. All right. Effortless building. Interesting. Okay. We'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, where do I want to? Where do I want to start building this stuff? No idea. I should really settle on like an actual home base, though. Like we running back and forth to get stuff from here has not been ideal. Uh, is the mod where I can pick up chests in the pack? No, it is not. So if I want to move these inventories, that's going to be easier said than done. Uh, is now in fairness. It could be that building gadgets is in the pack and it's hidden, right? Because like we definitely have been unlocking things as we progress. So more and more stuff is is coming to life as we progress through the pack. So it's very possible that it's there and just gated behind something still. So let me think about this for a minute. I might want to set up like a proper base in the overworld. Feels like it feels like the right play, right play. Because I think it's just too hard for you guys to see what's going on in this dimension. I think it's I think it's a little bit tricky for you guys to follow what's going on here. I think coming here every now and then would be fine, but I think my main base should be in the overworld. Just for the, the watchability of the series. Yeah, I'm on board with that, for now at least. Alright, so here's what I've decided in terms of where and how I'm going to build things. Uh, for now, I'm going to, I'm going to live a bit more on earth here only because I feel like it's not easy to see what I'm doing in the void dimension. As much as I think the void dimension is super cool, I don't think it lends itself to a YouTube video. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, so with that said, I don't want to build my standard nine by nine because this pack is so different. I want to play this pack differently. So I'm going to stick with this like little hidey hole bed house, which is cool. And then I'm going to build like a storage building. And then I'm going to build like uh, a pneumaticraft building. Um, so what I'm going to start with in terms of just storage building, right? Uh, what I'm thinking I could have is maybe next, and we could like connect some of these things with, you know, more things, but we'll see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does that sound cool? And what I'm thinking this room or this building, I guess, would be for... The crucible stuff i don't know i don't know exactly how much space i'm gonna need for crucibles but we're gonna start with that okay and then we'll just kind of figure it out from there That looks good. And then a little bit of a roof. I wouldn't mind having some glass going on. Glass is not the easiest thing in the world to make right now, but it's not also that hard. Uh, I could make this like a mini nine by nine, right? Like a little miniature nine by nine. And if I got uh, a few, as a reminder, I can like charge this up, right? And then do that. Right, that's 100% a thing I can do. And then this should quickly uh, both heal and give me glass. Sweet. Okay, I like that plan, right? And this little hut here uh, is probably where I'm going to have... And I might wind up making this a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Did I leave my... Uh, I'll just make new doors. It's fine. Cool. Um... 
And this will just be like my, my little huts area until I decide like on a nicer looking building or structure. Right now it's a little bit early game for me to building anything nice. Not that I'm ever good at building nice things, right? That's just never a thing that Dyer's good at doing. Um, but what I'm thinking is we could have like multiple buildings. That could be fun. Uh, and, and they'll all be like, you know, all different things, right? So we could have, um, maybe, maybe down here, I'll have like a nice storage area. Should that be a nine or an 11? I might make that an 11. Does that sound cool? Yeah, I could do that. That seems neat. And this is where I'll have like basically a bunch of chests. What kind of chest options do I have? Do I have like a better chest yet? Uh, we have the cloud chest from cloud storage. Ooh, that needs cloud blocks. I don't know anything about that mod either. Static cloud chest. Also don't know anything about that mod. Uh, reinforced chest upgrade from Pneumaticraft. So there are some, and then there's smart chests and reinforced chests. That's cool. Um, I don't know what cloud chests are from cloud storage. I'm hoping that's some kind of like AE alternative. Like the name to me sounds, 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 you know, cloud storage, right? Like, doesn't that sound like it's going to be kind of cool? Are there any kind of builder's wands yet? Nope, nothing access to that. So I'm just going to build this manually and we'll be right back. Cool. So remember the whole concept of a nine by nine was that you could put torches like this and not have any dark spots in the center. Well, since Minecraft, what was it, 18 or 19 when they made the light level rules changed? Uh, yeah, no longer, no longer necessary to be a nine by nine for that rule. So that's kind of cool. All right, kind of neat. Um, and then just for aesthetic purposes. So we'll have that little house there. We'll have this tiny little uh, building here. And maybe we'll make our, you know, bedroom a little bit better. But for now, it's a sufficient bedroom. But it's, it's a room with a bed. What? What it is. So the pro tip for smelting quickly is just stand here and hold right click. Right clicking will not remove the items that are there. But once they pop off in the glass, it will immediately replace another batch. So that should be cool right that's how you can don't do that that was, that was silly but you get the idea uh it will place one sand on top of it so you kind of like the first time you right click it, it'll probably put an extra sand up there but then you can hold right click going forward and you'll be fine and because this smelts so quickly and does four at a time it's way faster than a furnace all right so now my storage room you know we can we can start with i don't see any larger chests so i'm going to start with double chests for now right we'll kind of We'll kind of do like the standard design. Now it's true that I can do that. That actually doesn't seem so bad, right? Um, and then if we made, this many, Yeah, because in this back wall here, we're not starting in the corner. Meh, that's fine. We could always do that. That works. And then we could have like, I don't know, we'll have to find a good way. Can our item frames a thing that needs leather though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like this could be building blocks. So I could put things like, you know, this could be uh, plants. All right, this could be mob drops type stuff. Um, and this will be dust and gems eventually. So this will be like your standard set of stuff. And then over here can be like a bunch of miscellaneous junk. And this back row can be like mod specific things. And that could be kind of cool. All right. Um, so generally I put things like this in miscellaneous junk. Um, Journal of Alchemy. Yeah, although I'm probably going to want that in a minute. Uh, this is building blocks. So that will go in there. And then everything else that I have on me right now, I'd like to probably keep. Uh, so, why don't I move out of the void dimension into the overworld real quick. I'm mostly going to do it off camera here. But basically, I'll pop in here. I will snag this stuff. And then back and forth a bit. 
So I'll be right back. This cosmic ingot can be the first one to go into the dust and gems chest. How's that sound? Yeah. You know what I would love out of the temp pad? Besides the ability to like teleport to a location, I would like a teleport back option. Like I would like, I would like the temp pad to remember the last location I teleported from and let me teleport back there. Like, I feel like that would be cool, right? Wouldn't that be cool? I feel like that would be cool. But now I feel like it would be cool to do this and then this guy can chill here. Right? Hopper botany plot, good to go. Uh, what I also wanted to do was get some drawers. I'm thinking the raw components that I need can go into drawers now for the for the molecules and whatnot. So like in this inventory, I've got a lot of electrons, down quarks, up quarks, and gluons, right? So that's the, the things that drop whenever you harvest this stuff. I'm thinking all of those could go into a drawer. Cool. That's not like a plan. And I get enough of those that I think I want them to be on in their own drawer, right? Each. So uh, let's get another one of these so that I can then get this. Right? And then we'll just do gluons, down quarks. It really doesn't matter which ones go where for now. Cool. I like. And then the neutron is a crafted thing, so that'll be left separate. And that works for me. Cool. Uh, and these will also go into my storage locale. Okay. And I'll put these. So it's getting late. Better sleep. Yeah, buddy. I should also light up the area. I'll look in to see if there's like a feral flare style thing that I'm assuming I don't have access to anything like that yet, but maybe. So like up here, you know what? I'm going to put the... I put that up there. That still allows for... Oh, no, there is darkness now. That's a little bit of a bummer. Could run along the top then. Yes. Is that cool? And then I can also bring my cobble in here. And I'm thinking my cobble I'll put above the other chest. Like up here, right? Because that makes sense. At least it makes sense to me. Yeah. And then any other things that we wind up having tons of, we can get in a similar way, right? Uh, and then over here, we'll wind up, this will be, how about we'll put our black and lotus down here, and this left chest will be all of our, this stuff, right? That should be cool. I'm cool with that. Do, 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 do. Everything else is good? Yeah. All right. Does this look like a pretty good organizational setup? And then what we'll do is we'll kind of live out of the... Um, I'm suspecting I'll be coming back to the Void often enough, at least. Uh, but maybe I'll be surprised and I need to come back even more often than that. I have no idea what to expect with this whole Void world situation. But the plan is we will, we will come and go as needed. And for now, though, I'm going to live in the overworld just mostly so that it's easier for you guys to follow along with what's happening. Because I feel like it's a little tricky... To, to, to other, like, yeah, view what's happening there. All right, so now um, I wanted this little building, which I may need to expand, fully fully recognizing I may need to expand this because I have no idea um, what this whole setup is with this, with this shenanigans, right? But I think it's time we do scroll of transmutation so I can remove you and you, right? Um, Litmus paper is a thing we need to make. So let's, let's add that. But my understanding is I do this. Ooh, hello. 
and that gave me paperback. Now, just to be clear, I can pick this up now, and I get my Crucible from Reactive, and I put it back. Nice. Wanted to make sure that was cool. Read me. Unlocks Industrial Age. All right, I read you. Um, so, so litmus paper, light, comma, mind, and, and we put paper in and we get litmus paper out. So let's start reading about the introduction. Alchemy, more formally reactive alchemy, is the exploration of the various alchemical powers latent throughout the world. These powers are responsible for many of the bizarre effects and apparitions that we observe in our daily lives. Um, cool. The true nature of these powers is a raw ontological force that interacts with materials based on their essential properties. Okay. Um, these powers might be released and captured by another material. Indeed, an aqueous solution has proven suitable for this purpose due to its reflexivity and indefinite capacity. In order to transfer power into solution, a ritual setup is required. First, inscribe the symbol of... I've already taken the liberty of cutting him off here. Here's an updated procedure. Transcribe the following using glowing ink mixed with redstone onto clean paper. A simple crafting operation will suffice. Then simply add the result to a cauldron. Oh. That's probably how you make the, 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 the paper that we just got. Cool. That's probably how we make the paper that we just got. Cool. So here's the six basic kinds of alchemical power. Blaze, the power of heat and fire. Light, the power of, well, light. Mind, the power of enchantments and thought. Soul, the power of spirit. Warp, the power of space. Vital, the power of life. It is worth noting that other kinds of substances can also appear in the crucible. These are referred to as acid, body, and verdant. Okay. Uh, in solution, powers might react with each other. Reactions make themselves evident by changing the color of the solution and releasing particles into the air. Sometimes more violent effects arise as well, though nothing that damages the surroundings. So you say. The most common reaction is annihilation, wherein powers destroy each other, releasing smoke or energy in the process. It is natural to question which items source which powers. The answer to this is unknown in general, but typically the associations are obvious. A touch of critical thinking and note-taking will go a long way here. Note that anything that vanishes when put in the crucible does so because a power was released from it. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, the power crucible is the essential tool of alchemy. Its unique capability to convert mat matter into its raw alchemical power enables easy access to these powers. Additionally, it acts as an ideal medium for transmutations. Um, it's simple. The device must be placed in world. Then the device may be filled with water by hand. Due to the warded nature of the sides, automatic piping regrettably cannot access its interiors. You can empty it with a shift right click. Okay. When items that bear power are added to the crucible, their power is extracted. Usually this leads to the existential collapse of the item in question, but in certain cases a byproduct is created. The, power, uh, the presence of power in the crucible can be noted by the tone of the water inside. If particles begin to escape or surround the crucible, this is evidence of a reaction taking place. Certain powers, while within the crucible, may interact with the world around it. This is essentially, especially true in the presence of certain symbols. Artifacts with sufficient spiritual power may even allow the crucible to accumulate power. Um, dispensers are able to both fill and empty bottles of power when aimed at the crucible. Uh, hopper is able to autonomously, okay, cool, add items to the crucible. Finally, output items bounce out of the crucible high enough that a stream of water would be able to catch them. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat trick. All right. Uh, so objects of study. Oh, notable power sources. Oh, look at all these things. Wondrous results. Cool. Notable power sources. Uh, that's warp power, but given their unstable nature, I believe the process is likely to have some unintended side effects if warp is already present. Soul sand gunpowder uh, is acidic, but something tells me that using ingredients so obviously volatile may be dangerous under the right conditions. For a safer alternative, use nether wart or some crimson flora from the nether world. Or spider eyes. For acid, I guess. Soul power for soul sand. When seeking the power of the mind, a book seems the optimal place to start. I wonder what kinds of books might yield power. Yeah, that's probably a good guess. Um, cool. Blaze powder. Okay, one of the essential powers for our trivial, if not in the acquisition of materials, at least in their emplacement in the crucible. Yet the power of blaze rod still eludes us. So I don't think I have a lot of these. I need to I need to wrap my head around this mod because I'm not super getting it yet. 
Reagents light and mine. Litmus paper is specially treated paper that can be used to adapt to measure the strength of powers in the crucible. The body power inhibits reactions from taking place. If you need an unfortunate combination of powers for a transmutation, add some body. Cool. So paper, we need light and mind in there. All right, so let's start with some guesses, right? My guess would be torches are light. And my guess would be paper could be mine. Okay, so, you know, I'm, I'm guessing here. I have no idea. I'm hoping that paper is mine. Books are mine. So paper might also be mine. Or maybe it won't be and I'll have to get more stuff, right? Uh, out of curiosity, can I do this? It looks like I can. I totally can. Good, good, good. Sweet. So then I can get more books, right? Uh, sugarcane thus far is not growing beyond the height of three. Oh, look who's here hanging out, hiding inside my water. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's plant a bunch more. That could do. Okay. So let's try making a book. And we've got torches and we've got water. Oh. Can you, by the way, you can. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could turn these houses into smooth stone. Might be fun. Right? A little smooth stone house instead of cobble. Look how much nicer it looks. Anyway. Uh, oh, nope, that is not right. Maybe it needs to be a water bottle? Very possible. I think I had some bottles. I do. Let's see if my bottle guess is correct. We're learning this mod together, folks, and I like doing that with you guys. I think it's fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, too. I know sometimes I like to come in and, like, know everything and explain it, but other times I feel like it's fun. Okay, nope, definitely not. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought it was as easy as that. Uh... The device must be placed in world, then the device may be filled with water by hand. Due to the warded nature of its sides, automatic piping were going to... Okay, so without... Fuck it. I'm assuming I can't make a, I can't make an iron bucket. Maybe it needs to be an iron bucket. It's possible that it needs to be an iron bucket. And it's possible that I should be sleeping right now. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, so the plan was to get some iron, right? Uh, which is, I'm sure there's some in here. I'm looking for Fe, there it is. Was it five iron? Okay, uh, and you can turn into a water bucket. Maybe for some reason this mod wants a water bucket like hard-coded rather than or a dictionary. We'll see. Haha! <laughs> Dyer's knowledge of mods comes through again. Haha. <laughs> so if I put you in there. Okay, noted. If I put you in there, also noted. Do we have a visitor? I heard a Mrr. Hello, friend. What do you got for me today? Yeah, pumpkins. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'll take a pumpkin ah. or two. Ah. A couple pumpkins, why not, right? Yeah, that's fine. Nothing else jumps out at me, but I mean, uh -huh. being able to grow pumpkins sounds like a good plan. I didn't really mean to do all 16 of those as pumpkins, by the way, but... It is what it is, I guess. Yep. Uh, you know, give me... Because they're two silver, that's super cheap. I will just take a couple more pumpkins just to have. And then you can go into my chest over here. So, um... So we were saying that you want to just, uh, you know, drop items in. Is that is that right in terms of the thing? We do need to wrap up here, so I kind of want to figure this out before we wrap up. Uh, the device may be filled with war by hand. Duh, 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 duh. 
When items that bear power are added to the crucible, their power is extracted. Uh, maybe right clicking instead of dropping. Definitely neither of those things. Um, Nether portal, physical hallucinations, pumpkin magic. That's why I bought pumpkins, by the way. Baby. There's a lot of this stuff we're going to need to go through. Uh, fucking quell into the solution of mine. The result was not what I had expected. I believe there are some spheres and suggestions. Okay. Uh, so yeah, clearly I'm gonna have to figure some things out here. Um, it's possible I might need to go to purgatory. Compressed stone is acid. And I think it said spider eyes are a good source of acid. And I know I have at least one of them. So let's just try that. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this should work. And this will at least tell me how to use the crucible. And then we'll wrap up. Deal? Uh, so drop it in. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. And then... It was smooth stone that goes in there. Now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hope that I don't, like, it's not one-to-one. -one. Now, if I were to get a bottle, because it also said you can, like, bottle up the solution. So I'm hoping that solution is acid. Oh, I do have a bottle on me. I thought I had a bottle on me. I'm hoping that solution is acid. Hello. Awkward potions. Oh. Well, that's not ideal, is it? It's not really what I was going for. It's really not what I was going for, to be honest with you. Let me try one more time. I'm going to fill it, and then I'm going to see what happens. And then we're going to have to wrap up, because... We can't have an hour-long episode, folks. Sorry. So if I right-click it, it does nothing. If the item disappears, it means it did something, right? Make compressed stone. Smooth stone goes into acid, and compressed stone comes out. It said spider eyes equals acid, right? Notable power sources. Gunpowder is acidic. Nether wart or crimson flora from the netherworld. Personally, I like to use spider eyes. Well, that's what I used, folks. Shift right click will empty it. All right, let me try one more thing. What I'm going to try is the gunpowder for acidic. And if that doesn't work, that's when we'll wrap up the episode, okay? One more try. One more try. Give me one more shot at this. That's all I'm asking for. Gunpowder? We can do it. I believe in we. Failing that, I need to go to that nether ish dimension, the not the nether. All right? So gunpowder, yes. I feel like I'm missing something here. Huh? 
I'm going to wrap up the episode here, and I'm going to figure this out. When we come back next episode, let's visit Purgatory. Maybe there's something in there that I need. Um, I would have expected something like this to work, but I'm really not quite sure yet. Uh, I'm definitely missing some some trick, but we'll figure it out. For now, don't twice sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time to figure out what I'm not getting. So I'll probably wind up just going straight into uh, the depths here. For now, though, wrapping up point. Take it easy.